Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be doing the second coat. Um, it's been almost 24 hours. Um, normally I recoat about 12 hours, but I wanted to do another video as a follow-up so you can see how I do my second coat. So I did save one painting that I hadn't sanded yet just so I could show you how I do it. And I just wanted to get this resin mixed and be ready to go. So this one I'm going to recoat. Um, you can see the edges um, don't cover well on the first coat because it's canvas. So it has a tendency to puddle a little bit in the middle. So I just put a little bit of tissue in there to keep it um, padded so you're not putting all your pressure in one area. So I just give it a light sand. And this is where you can, if you see a fuzzy, you can pretty much sand it down flat. And the nice thing with the stone coat, it's not real dusty when you're sanding. It pretty much stays on your sandpaper. And this is 220 grit. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to wipe that off with a microfiber cloth. And then I'll clean it with 91% um, alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside and let it dry. And I'm going to grab a painting and we're going to put a second coat on. So I'm going to get rid of this paper here because it does have dust on it. And we're going to get ours ready. This has already been sanded and it's ready for its second coat. And I always feel to make sure there's nothing bumpy that may need to be addressed. So on the second coat, you don't need quite as much as you did on the first. Because your sides are already done. So it's just pretty much smoothing those. But you really want to pay attention to your edges. drips off. I always pull from the middle out. Okay, so that's ready for the heat gun. Or you can use a torch. Of course, I probably should have banged my button. <laughs> Let me slip a glove off because you get one drop of resin on that um, torch button or heat gun button and it does freeze up. There we go. second coat, you really want to make sure you get every fuzzy out. This is your final coat. And I already see some. I think 
I'll eat that. We're pretty good. It helps with my fluorescent lights shining at that angle. So I'm just going to wipe off the edges and push that one aside. Grab another one. Um, actually, not that one. We did this one yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and get another coat on this. You've got 45 minute work time on that resin, but you don't want to have too much in the pot because it will warm up. Uh, yeah, but this has not gotten warm yet, so I'm still good. The other one I forgot to tape the back off. It had gotten a drip on it, so I had to resand it. So it's going to have another coat on it. Back here. I don't know if it's dust or a bubble. And it's gone now. Okay, so I can move that one. Do this big one. It's not hard to um, prep them. You know, you're just doing a light sanding. Get all your flaws taken care of with sandpaper. Just to give me a little more for the edges. There, that's better. So the stone coat stuff is just amazing. I have had absolutely no issues with it at all. The tiles that I did on the previous video had no flaws in them at all. The jewelry came out beautiful. I can show you that when I get these done. Let me give that a heat gun.
looks good too. I like when I don't have to pick fuzzies out. <laughs> do this one and this was the one that see this one makes my camera go kabuki <laughs> I think it's the metallics let's see if it changes when I put this on it nope all right so I'm not doing that one yet a little bit of resin on there just wipe it off with my alcohol rag I have enough to do this one too. So those two cups um, on the second coat, you can usually get three or four paintings done. Now on the jewelry and the tiles, I didn't need a second coat, so. saves time. If you prep your surfaces, you save lots of time. been working hard on getting these paintings done so I want to get them in my Etsy shop next week all right that one looks good too whoops wait a minute just saw it <laughs> can't tell if it's a bubble or a piece of fuzz The nice thing with it, it levels out by itself, so. show you how nice the tiles come out. Let's see if I can get the right angle so you can see. They're perfect. No flaws at all. So those will be ready to go. And then on the jewelry, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there is a tiny little dome on those just enough to um, so they're not set down in so those came out really pretty too so that's it for this video guys um, check all the links below the stone coat code is there and also don't forget um, to use the CWA code all in caps and make sure your items are in your cart before checkout if you need supplies, shop with us on Amazon. And 
our paintings are still on Etsy. We've been selling quite a few this week. So we will um, be pulling all those Saturday night for the auction on Sunday night. And if you want them, get them now, because right now they have free shipping. And if you get them during the auction, you will have to pay shipping, plus whatever your bid is. And we have our fan mail post office box below. And our PayPal link is below if you want to sponsor the channel. Um, join me on Facebook. And also Redbubble. I've uh, been taking pictures of paintings and putting them on there. Um, sometimes if your favorite painting is gone, you can always get a print of it. Or um, pillows made or whatever you want with the print. There's quite a few items to pick from. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin, please feel free to list your question below. Or you can get a hold of me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. The link is below. Or on my email, ChristinaWelchArt at Yahoo.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.